Good morning. Are you ready for breakfast? Okay. Okay, Mama's gonna look how look how handsome you are sitting there. I heard you too, Willie. Good morning, Willie. Hi, Dozer. Hi, Kino. Hi, Willie. You gonna jump all over me? You gonna let me in without mauling me? I got your breakfast. You got breakfast. You gotta let me in. Good morning. You guys are talkative this morning. Yeah. Hey, Willie. How you doing, buddy? Hi, girls. Hi, sweet girls. Yeah. Good morning. Hi, princess. Hi, boys. Hi, Larry. Hi, Dudley. Yeah. Mama don't have treats yet. I'll bring you some up after a bit. I know. I know. It's unacceptable. I know. You following me? Everybody's following me. I don't have treats yet. I'll bring them back after a while. Yeah, good job. Dozer. Did you finish your breakfast? You can't have Kino's. You done? Oh, Kino's done too. Stay down. And stay down. Good boy. Mama's gonna take your bowls so you don't carry them off and I have to go hunting for them. Uh-oh. Have an escape. Hey y'all. Welcome back to the channel. Yvonka here at our Kentucky home. I was going to update you on the incubation of my chicks. Let me show you. Yes, that's one lonely egg in there. So, as you can see, it hasn't gone as well as I had hoped. <laughs> uh, I've got one up. For sure, right now. Sorry, I'm getting back in here by the wood stove. I'm a little cold. Uh, did just the out of the 22, I have one. So I'm pretty disappointed. Um, but you know, I guess that's just how it goes. But I'm not giving up. I'm I'm going to incubate more, and um. My only thing is with just the one, I'm a little concerned about how that chick is going to do. I don't know how well they do just being one chick by itself. So, you know, I just have to wait and see. Um, it, it almost makes me wish that none of them had, I, that may sound bad, but like I said, it's only because I don't know how one chick will do by itself. So we'll just have to see how that goes. I'll keep you updated on that. Um, so I did, you know, once I was sure um, a few days ago that that none of the others were gonna be any good, I went ahead and took those out because they didn't need to stay in there. So I've got one lonely chick. One thing I wanted to do today, and I'm gonna start trying to do that every once in a while, um, mm -hmm. There are a few channels on YouTube that John and I follow um, on a regular basis, watch pretty much daily or, you know, every couple of days. So I decided I was going to start giving a shout out to um, one of those channels every once in a while. Um, not for any reason, I mean, it doesn't benefit me, um, other than the one I'm going to give a shout out to today is An American Homestead and his name is Zach. Um, he gives lots of good info on a lot of different things. He's a homesteader and he's very knowledgeable. Um, 
So that's an American homestead. So look him up and um, watch some of his videos. And of course, if you like his content, subscribe. Um, it, like I said, he he knows what he's doing, and he he's a he's a real homesteader. So he kind of does a little bit of everything. Um, and so I thought, well, I'll do that every once in a while because you know I'm sure they would appreciate that and send some more people to him. Of course, he has a lot of subscribers already, but um, you know I I like watching things that some things I like just for you know just to watch people take care of their animals and all that stuff and um and then some of them like i said really give good info stuff that helps you um ideas too you know things that you didn't even think of before so go check out his channel i am waiting for my daughter to get here my youngest daughter savannah and i'm gonna try to video her today and hopefully she's not gonna be a little stinker and not let me video her but she's actually picking up my grocery order for me i was gonna have to go out and pick up my grocery order and she said mom do you want me to pick up your groceries on she was coming to see me anyway and she lives in town she said it's easier for me to go get them than you to come all the way out so that worked out good for me because i really didn't want to go out i'm very much a homebody so uh, she's doing that huge favor for me and so I'm gonna try to get her on video after a while and introduce her to you and she always brings her dog with her because I have never I have spoiled dogs that you know are really attached to me I have never seen a dog so attached to its owner than her dog Luna Mae so you're probably gonna get to meet Luna May too. Luna May, did you come to see Grandma? Hi, Luna May. Grocery delivery lady. <laughs> Hello. I did. Oh, is my sugar leaking? Uh oh. Thank you. This is Savannah Grace. Hello. <laughs> Savannah is going to get some puppy love. Every other time she's been over here to see the dogs, it's been raining. So, here, I'll help you, sis. <laughs> oh, that's Savannah. Dozer, he whines all the time. Yeah, he's a whiny baby. Oh, say somebody new to love on us. Uh, Kino sees sees Luna May. Luna's like, why are you loving on my mommy? Oh, he smells like a chicken. He smells like a chicken. Yeah, he might. Look, Kino is interested in Luna. He's like, who is that? What's wrong, Luna May? Are you sad about mommy loving on other doggies? It's okay. You get you get to be the one to go home with her. You came to see grandma. You came to see grandma, didn't you? Yeah. Aren't they so soft? Are you getting loves? Oh, say we like lovin's. Kino, he just melts. I didn't know, but there's Great Pyrenees right up the road. They actually, I think, have three now. I saw two of them. We knew they had two, and then the other day, I think there was actually three. So he's got another one, I guess. <laughs> Lots of puppy sugars. Oh. Yeah, they're like a big woolly blanket. Yeah. I was out here one day uh, when it was so cold last week or week before and taking care of the chickens and them and stuff and um, I kept putting my hands on them because they were so warm yeah. it warmed my hands up. Oh. They probably really liked the weather yesterday. Yeah. Oh. His eyes are runny. Yeah, they're always runny. He's crying. 
See, the vet said it wasn't nothing. They go back to the vet next Wednesday. Oh, yeah. I need to take Lou and get her up to date on her shots. Savannah and Luna Mae went home. We had a nice visit. Always nice to get visits from the kids. And, of course, they'll always be my little girls, even though they're grown. She actually asked me today, she said, Mom, how does it make you feel that I'm going to be 25 this year? I said, it makes me feel really old. I said, how does it make you feel that you're going to be half as old as I am? <laughs> I've got to share this sunset with you guys. I don't think it ever looks on camera like it does in person. But it's so beautiful. It's dinner time. It's dinner time. Oh, honey boy. What are you doing, Dozer? Dozer, go. They're glad to see Dad. Hi, <laughs> boy. Don't, don't hang on too, though. Hi, boy. Hi, boy. Hi, boy. So we collected eight eggs today, which is awesome. Um, we had, after we changed feed, uh, in just a few days we had started getting like four and five a day, and then up to like, um, we've been getting really at least six a day for the last several days. So today we got eight, so that's good. They're, they're doing much better, and really can't anybody convince me that it didn't have something to do with the food because it's way too obvious so we're thankful for that that they're back to laying good I mean that's good for this time of year um, that's you know eight eggs out of 14 hens so that is awesome and we're happy about that so we've got a possum that keeps coming um, down to the deer feeder it's figured out there's feed down there, so it's coming down there every night. So, um, we're not going to have any possums hanging around here, so, uh, may have to do some target practice, if you catch my drift. <laughs> Alright, Dozer. Tell him, see, see, we had supper. Where'd Kino go? See, we had supper. Oh, Kino's, he's checking the perimeter. He's being a good dog. I don't see him. He's over in the corner. <laughs> he's hunting. Had supper. Won't be long till bedtime, will it? It won't be long till dark. It's early, but it ain't gonna be long till dark. Here comes Kino. What are you doing, buddy? Are you taking care of your chickens? Were you taking care of your chickens? Yeah, you gotta keep a check on that back side of the run, don't you? That's a good boy. Gotta make sure nobody's sneaking up there. They're good boys. Yeah. Ruby, she's always here for moral support, aren't you, Ruby? Ruby Sue, are you here for moral support? She's like, no, Mom, I just can't let you out of my sight. <laughs> All right, guys. I didn't have a lot today, I don't guess. Just our usual, you know. Always got to take care of the chickens and the dogs, no matter what. And visit from the kids. And tomorrow, we are actually going to be keeping the uh, my two grandsons so i'm gonna video some tomorrow if i can i'll have to stay in with the baby most of the day because it's gonna be too cold to get him out but um owen will probably be out here quite a bit um he'll be four in april so he's all grown up he thinks and so he'll probably be out here quite a bit tomorrow helping papa john so hopefully we can video some of that and 
I'll uh, make sure I check with mom and dad before I post any videos of them, but I think they'll be fine with it. So anyway, they're fun and we love, we love spending time with them. But anyway, I think that's all I've got today. And please like and consider subscribing if you haven't already. And we appreciate you guys being here and we will see you on the next video.